Hello students today we are going to learn about basics of the breadboard This is our breadboard We will need one multimeter also for this project Connect the black probe to the ground terminal of the multimeter Connect the red probe to the positive terminal of the multimeter Now we are going to check internal connections of the breadboard using multimeter. Set the knob of multimeter on buzzer mode. Connect the multimeter probes to each other. There will be a beep sound coming and your meter will display zero. Displaying zero after shorting the probes of the multimeter indicates that your multimeter is in good condition. Now we will identify how the points in a breadboard are interconnected using multimeter. Insert two male to male jumper wires on adjacent hole in the breadboard. If two points are connected internally, multimeter will display zero and it will produce a beep sound. Otherwise, it will display one. Since these two points are not connected internally, the multimeter is displaying one. Now we'll check the connection in terminal strips. When we connect the two adjacent points in a vertical column, we hear a beep sound this means that points in a vertical column are interconnected now let's connect first and the last point in a vertical column this means that all the points in a terminal strip or a vertical column are connected let's check the connections in upper column and lower column there is a no beep sound which means the upper and lower terminal strips are not connected connect the multimeter to any two terminal strips the multimeter displays one that means the columns are not connected now we will check how the points are connected in a power rails connect the jumper wire as shown in the video The multimeter does not beep or shows one which means the two points are not connected. Now we will check if these points are connected horizontally. We hear a beep sound which means the points in the power rails are connected horizontally. Now we will check if the first row and the fifth row are connected or not. We hear a beep sound which means the rows in a power rail are connected. But when we connect the first and the sixth row, we'll see that they are not connected as we are not getting any beep sound. This is because there is a gap between the fifth and sixth row in all the power rails. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thank you so much.